Welcome to Mathematics with Ams, Grade 8, Lesson, Algebraic Equations. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free. The numbers positive 2 and negative 2 are additive inverses of each other. So when we add a number and it's additive inverse, we always get 0. So 2 plus a negative 2 is 0. The number 3 and a third are multiplicative inverse of each other. So when we multiply a number and its multiplicative inverse, we always get 1. So 3 times a third is 1. The additive property of 0, the sum of any number and 0 is that number. The multiplicative property of 1, the product of any number and 1 is that number. So when solving equations, the following should be considered. We must consider botmass, that's order of operation. If, there's, if there are any brackets, multiply them out first. If there are any equations, get rid of the denominators first. Both sides of the equation must balance. So if you look at those three diagrams there, it shows you that an equation works like a scale. It must always be in balance, like 4 plus 1 must balance with 5. But if the scale leans to the left, like 3 plus 2, which is 5, it is greater than 4. Equations with variables on one side only. Example, find the value of the variable so that the equation can balance. For instance, x plus 13 equals to 27. So what value must x take on so that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side? If you look at the scale of the diagram there, you will see that we normally get rid of the 13 on both sides. Then we get x must be 14. Or we can do it mentally or by, by inspection, ask yourself, what plus 13 is 27? So you can say 14 plus 13 is 27. However, it is good to, to work out a certain method or find a certain method how to solve these problems. So remember, test your answer always by substitution. Equations with variables on both sides. For example, 8x minus 5 equals to 3x plus 10. So you write down the problem, 8x minus 5 equals to 3x plus 10. Then you mark the like terms. Like 8x and 3x in red are the like terms. Then you subtract 3x from both sides. Why? Because I want 3x to cancel on the right hand side. Then I'm left with 5x minus 5 equals to 10. Then you add 5 on both sides. Why? Because I want to get rid of the 5 on the left hand side. And there you are, x equals to, so 5x equals to 15. Both sides divide by 5, then you get x equals to 3. Right, it is important that you remember the following laws of exponents a to the power m times a to the power n equals to a to the power m plus n. a to the power m divided by a to the power n equals to a to the power m minus n. And a to the power m to the power n is equal to a to the power m n. And a to the power 0 is 1. For example, if you were solve for x cubed equals to 2 cubed, then you will notice that the exponents are the same. So therefore, we are allowed to say the bases are the same, so therefore x equals to 2. The powers on either sides are equal, and the exponents are equal. It follows that the bases are equal as well. Test your answer by substitution. Let's look at the next example. So for x, 3 plus x to the power 4 equals to 2 to the power 4 plus 3. Consider the equation. So we isolate the variables by subtracting x from, for, by subtracting 3 from both sides. Why? Because I want to get the root of 3 on the left hand side. Then I'm left with x to the power 4 equals to 2 to the power 4. And there you are. The exponents are the same, so therefore the bases are the same. Next example, x to the power 3 minus 6 equals to 2. So I add 6 on both sides because I want 6 to, sub to cancel on the left hand side. Then I get x cubed equals to 8. And of course 8 is 2 to the power 3. So there you are. x equals to 2. If you look at ordered pairs, 
Order pairs are two numbers written in a certain order. Usually written in parentheses like a brown brackets, a 4 and a 5. It can be used to show the position on a graph where x input value is first and y the output value is second. Here is the point 12 and 5 is 12 units along and 5 units up. Look at the sketch and you will see. The relationship between the input and output values is expressed as follows. Y equals to mx plus c, where m and c are real numbers. In order to find the output y, we substitute the given x value into the equation. The input and output values can be represented on a table and written as an ordered pair. Example. Find the ordered pairs of the equation y equals to 2x plus 3. So if x is negative 3, we substitute the negative 3 into x and we get the answer negative 3 again. So there you are. So the ordered pairs will be negative 3, negative 3. If I use a negative 2, we do the same and now we get a negative 1. So the ordered pair is negative 2, negative 1. If I use a negative 1, I get a positive 1. So the ordered pairs will be negative 1, positive 1. If I use a 0, then I get 3. So the ordered pair is 0 and 3. If I use a positive 1, I get a 5. So the ordered pair is 1 and 5. If I use a positive 2, I get a 7. So the ordered pair is 2 and 7. If I use a positive 3, I get a 9. So the ordered pair is 3 and 9. Right, I hope you found this video useful. This is Mathematics with M's. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe. Remember, subscription is free.